The Moldova 2019 trip is a three-week trip that will take us through former East Germany to Czech Republic, continuing to Slovakia, to Ukraine, then crossing the border to Moldova, to Chisinau to see the non-government organization Hope and Health, continuing to Romania, into Serbia, and then into Montenegro and Dumitor, then into Bosnia and Herzegovina, to Croatia, into Slovenia. After a week in the Italian Alps, we will be riding back home via Prague. So we've just left um, the hotel, a bed and breakfast. There was a big bed and breakfast, more like a hotel. Very nice day. We need to be in Italy uh, on Saturday, it's Thursday today. We have to be conscious about the route, not take too many detours. It's perfectly doable if we take the larger roads, but uh, I'd also like to not do those. But we'll see. I know I will come back next year, so first we have to refuel, Tony has to refuel, so we'll refuel as well. Well, there's one small petrol station. So that took quite a while to get the fuel. There was this guy in front of us um, who had, I don't know, maybe four or five hundred liters in uh, different, um, what are they called? Ah shit, what are they called? Ah, very beautiful mountain, so we got there. We have to be a little bit careful of oncoming traffic on these uh, narrow roads. This is beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Uh, this is nice. I can't fly my drone. Uh, it's illegal in the in national park. But I can get some spectacular views from this place as well. All right, take a look at this. Don't know if you can see it on the video, but the, the rock has this layer, so it's, I don't know, this layer may have been a seabed for millions and millions of years ago. This uh, national park official, as I was unpacking the drone, came to me and said, I can't fly the drone in the national park, so... So that is okay, I guess, because uh, the views from the road is uh, spectacular as well. So I was talking to uh, the park ranger, well actually uh, a guy sitting next to the park ranger, because I wanted to know the layers in the rocks I kind of and, and I don't know much about geology but I kind of feel like the uh, sediment from a uh, seabed I don't know if that is true maybe if there's a viewer who has more insight to that knows I would like to know because at some point you can see how they kind of you know like a uh, Like kind of a roll if that makes sense I'll show it to you as soon as we get close to it I can see it from here but I don't know if the GoPro's wide angle picks it up but he said that uh, it was never seabed and it came from uh, rain I'm not quite maybe there was just me not explaining what I was asking correctly uh, I don't know if you see it up there those oh no yeah those high mountains they're kind of like they were just you know like whoosh, like that so what was once uh, horizontal was pushed vertical oh yeah kind of like that I we're passing right here you see that those are vertical lines kind of layers so my 
theory is that it was one seabed, but maybe I'm wrong. It does take the greatness away from this place, my ignorance of geology. Look at this, this is so fantastic. Oh yeah, so that's, that's where you see where it kind of rolls. Over there. That was what I meant by it. I find it hard to believe that that's produced by rain. Yeah, right there, you see it kind of goes like that. Like an inverted C. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there was one seabed. With all this limestone. fall down there that's for sure well you look at that oh my god it's so beautiful you almost get emotional so we're going into that uh, canyon in a little while A nice summer day. inside so I am now officially in Bosnia and uh, Herzegovina I just found a little piece of shade it's quite hot not super comfortable to be honest but as soon as we get moving we will have a little bit more air on the our wings. I'll just spend the time to clean my visor here. So um, the road um, on the Bosnian side, immediately following the border between um, Montenegro and Bosnia, along uh, the Tsara River, Piva River, I think it's called. It's quite bad. Nothing out of the ordinary, though. Not bad, 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 but just not ordinary bad. And in one of the uh, the curves, my front wheel slipped to the point where my peg actually scraped, you know. And I don't know how it happened, but uh, the bike got controlled. I didn't get in control because I was totally screwed and I was 110% sure, okay, so I'm crashing. But luckily I wasn't. That was scary. So I was taking it a lot easier in the, the rest of that road. I'm still taking it easy, but not because of the road surface, just because the speed limit and there seem to be uh, police everywhere. It's not my impression that the uh, Bosnian uh, police are looking for bribes. I've been pulled over once by uh, Bosnian police and uh, I was actually speeding. Not very much, but technically I was speeding, so they were in my in their right to stop me but i didn't understand much of what they were saying and they, they didn't understand any of what i was saying so they just let me go but this is a nice road actually so we are heading towards uh, the border with croatia uh, close to plitvice 
I highly, highly doubt that we made it that far, and we don't need to. This is a very, very nice day today. Lunch time, and I put my sticker over here. Our sticker. Sorry. So. Right there. Maybe you can find your own sticker here. No way am I gonna take it anymore. Do, 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 do. Not gonna take it. No, we ain't gonna make it. It's a nice road here. Back there before I started recording the video, um, there was uh, people um, having a swim in the river. It looked quite nice. So we we uh, from uh, pretty much from all the way from Sarajevo. It was one town, one village after the other. With an average speed of, I don't know, maybe 40, 30, 40 kilometers, we had uh, some rain as well, and uh, it really, really sucked. And just before, um, so the road split into two, and uh, I pulled over and uh, suggested that uh, it was, uh, we had this alternative. Um, and I don't know these roads, yeah. they said, well, let's just continue. Because uh, the other one, the alternative might, might not be a good alternative. So we continued on the route that the GPS has suggested and lo and behold look what we got here a fantastic gravel road I did not expect that I'm glad the others wrote it for Ooh. I'm glad the others wrote it for uh, continuing sometimes the dogs they uh, run after us how long this gravel road is not even if it is is it pavement it's probably the smoother smoothest pavement in the um, entire Bosnia and Herzegovina all those houses they look very deserted don't they or oh, are they I don't know are they deserted I can't tell they look deserted but I'm not so sure I wonder if there have been battles around here during the Balkan war that could very well be Ooh, it's 18 degrees it's quite cold I think that uh, people are living in some of those unfinished houses. Maybe it's also one of those tax things where you don't pay, start paying taxes before it's finished, so they actually never finish it. I know that there are some places where the system is like that. Party town. We have arrived at the um, town called Kiyuch, or something like that, in the Bosnia Herzegovina. We started out from um, Montenegro, crossed the border. Well, we started out in Montenegro, had some fantastic rides through the Dumito National Park. We rode along the uh, Piva. River, not Pivo, but Piva. Could have been cool with Pivo. Yeah, Beer River. Beer River. Crossed the border to um, Bosnia and Herzegovina. It's easy border crossing. Um, we had some challenges with the road. I think all of us uh, 
have at least one slide yep. with the front or rear wheel and near death experience. So this is what it looks like in the Tower of Clutch from where we're sitting. And we're at a restaurant that wants to be a little bit uh, metropolitan, so they don't have a lot of local food, but they have pizza. So I ordered a pizza. Uh, the partners in crime, updating social media, getting in touch with their friends and family back home, drinking beer. Drinking beer. Not bad. Yeah. Business as usual. And waiting for the food. This is uh, Tito's summer village. So another border crossing.